Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today in part four, we're going to go and install Disk Station Manager 5.0. We're on Disk Station Manager 4.3 right now, and I'm going to show you how to get it, how to install it, and first look. So we're signing in. So we sign in in our normal looking 4.3, and as you can see, we're on 4.3 fresh build uh, I completely formatted the disks and reinstalled the firmware 4.3 so you can see what they have currently and we'll just roll through and now when we install 5.0 you'll get a better idea of what what's new so we have nothing really set up no shared folders. We don't have any installed apps. And we have Java installed, but we didn't get rid of the message. Okay. So this is how you upgrade. You basically go DSM update. And we're on the latest build, 4.3-3810. So in order to get the update, you could do a manual DSM update, and then you choose the file. So in order to get the file, we have to go on Synology. And by the way, the disk that comes with the disk station, you can get all this on beta program. You can get this all on the download center. So here's the download center. We have a 4 bay, 414. And this is the DSM. And these are the other software that come uh, with Windows and with Mac. Uh, the same stuff that's on the CD. I checked it. So today we're going to go into our beta program here and we're going to go get Disk Manager 5.0. Now I just want to warn you in case you're watching this and you're trying to decide whether you want to jump to 5.0 that you can't go backwards. Uh, once you go to 5.0 you can't go to a lesser firmware. So keep that in mind. And if you have any really important things like say your pictures and you have years and years and years of pictures and you don't want to lose that, just back it up on a, on another drive. Uh, just to play it safe, my is totally empty. Because I don't want to take any chance of losing anything important. Especially because I'm making YouTube videos. And I want to make sure. So we have a 2014 series. And we'll pick our 4.414. So this is global. And you'll see that it's downloading down here. So now once we download that, obviously it's going to be in our downloads folder on a Mac. Uh, we're going to go as soon as it's downloaded and we're going to put it right onto that area. Um, another advice is if you have a large hard drive full of stuff and you want to start using your disk station, best bet is to use the USB 3.0s in the back. Plug it in uh, with the USB from your hard drive with all your stuff on it and pull it that way you know drag and drop you could do a replace or or a, a copy and it's faster that way if you try to do it over Wi-Fi it's gonna take you forever alright so we got that downloaded now we can close out and we could choose the file and we know it's gonna be in downloads and here is the disk station manager the 5.0 software so we'll hit OK and we'll hit OK now it's going to transfer the data to the server and then they probably have some sort of way of opening up the software and then applying it to the firmware. It takes 10 to 20 minutes. Don't turn it off while this is happening. Okay, now we're back and it already looks different. Uh, let's sign in now for the first time. It's using my old password. 
and it says you're a few steps away from using your Synology Disk Station 414. So we're going to put all our information. So we'll start it up now. They asked us for a quick connect ID that we can create, an email address, and then they give you your address with your quick connect. And it saves us. You're all set. Let's go to the package center and start installing apps. So let's see what they have. Change the look a little bit. So we have download station, audio station, photo and video. We have an iTunes media a media server, iTunes server, surveillance station, and cloud station. So We'll go down to all, and we have our antivirus. And basically, we have Java Manager. A couple of new things here. It's a little slow on adding it. I want you to see the new apps compared to my previous video. All right, let's see what the control panel looks like. So they got a brand new look. It's very iOS looking. Our usual three folders shared. Also seen here in our file station. All right, so let's see what else they have here. Control panel has and the notifications just tells us where all our packages. And it's got the restart and the options combined into one now. Universal search. Oh, here are the widgets. They're actually full, full widgets, all eight of them. Which is pretty nice. And then you have expose, just like the other one. So a couple of added apps, not much more involved. Let me load some media on here, and uh, we'll see what this thing can handle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, ask now, and I'll make sure I include it in our next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.